Everybody good? Ready to go? All right, questions for two next ones. I guess that's be, be, be Jared for, for Jared and Yelta. Um, how would you think Cole handled stuff today? I don't know if you guys noticed, but he, he got booed when he went back out there in the third quarter and booed after the fourth pick. And then how would you think he played and handled everything? And then how do you think the freshmen played? Like, well, what, what were the freshman quarterbacks like in the huddle? For, for both of you guys. Uh, in the end, whoever lines up behind me, I'm, I'm supportive of them, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get them out there. You know, Connor... He came out with a really positive mindset, you know. He's a very energetic guy, and he came out. He made some plays for us, but in the end, O-line didn't protect. We gave up a lot of pressure uh, late in the second half when Connor came in, and and Cole got hit pretty hard a couple of times too. So it's, you know, a quarterback can't throw the ball well and can't sit in the pocket, and the receivers can't run good routes if Cole has to start scrambling or – Wherever his back to has to start scrambling around and running around because what he's seen is a big D lineman in his face. So uh, I think we all got a rally and, you know, we all have all position groups, I think, made mistakes. But uh, in the end, we got to protect better, I believe. Uh, how about John Steven? How was he? I didn't. Uh, I was not in the game when he was in there. But uh, I think, you know, they took the challenge upon him. You know, they make mistakes. They're fresh, make mistakes, but they're freshmen. But. They're ready to go out there, and uh, they're, they're ready to play. Um, you know, I, I think um, it's it's really easy to pick a, a guy, one guy to point a finger at. Um, and for the majority of the first half, I think that guy was, was Cole, um, at least by the outside world. And I think, um, like, like Yelda said, um, the receivers could run better routes. The offensive line could protect better. The, the running backs can get out on the checks and, and chip the defense ends. Um, so when you when you come out of the locker room at the, in the second half and your starting quarterback is getting booed by the home team, you know, how is when is that right? How is that right? And I feel like um, I've, I've been kind of holding this in for a minute, um, but – at the end of the day, that's somebody's son, that's somebody's brother, that's my brother, um, and I'm just, I'm not gonna sit around like that's, that's gonna be okay. When, when a guy comes out after the second half, we're in a football game, in the middle of a football game. We're still, at that point, we're still in the game, and you're booing them. I don't, that's, that's not gonna, that's not the standard, that's not gonna be the standard. Um, so, I mean, whatever. Next question, please. Yes, for Santos. Just how do you put all this in perspective today? What happened? You know, uh, as a team, we had many mistakes to beat ourselves. And, uh, you know, starting the defense side of the ball, I feel like that we just gave too many deep balls as well. Uh, you know, this is a tough loss, and this is one that's going to hurt. But at the end of the day, we still a band of brothers, and we still got plenty more games to play. So regardless of win or lose, we got another day to live, man, and another day to, to get better, you know. So, you know, this, going, this game going to be behind us, and uh, we're going to move on and look forward to Auburn. Jared, I was going to ask you, you've been um, around a little longer than some of these guys, and you've seen, like, for instance, the Toledo game and, and some games that the fans perceived that you should have won, and the Hogs have come back strong from that. What do you remember about – what the team did and what it takes to come back from a game like this. I mean, it's a one-play warrior mentality. Um, and that's, that starts tomorrow at practice, I mean, our meetings. At the end of the day, it's, it's the next man up. It's, it's the next game. We, gotta, um, we can't get too, too worried about North Texas because we just played them and we're not going to play them again. Um, so we, we got to move on. We got to come out to practice um, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and, and – Give 100 percent effort, um, and that's that's any week. That's after a win. That's after a loss. Um, it doesn't matter if we lose to Bama or, or, or North Texas. You know, um, at the end of the day, we got to come back and and uh, give it all we got. Santos, you guys had you know Chevin missing, and then uh, just in general, there were some issues 
you know, finishing tackles and stuff like that. What can what can you attribute that to? I can attribute that to preparation. Uh, in practice, I feel like we have to do more of a better job of wrapping up. Regardless if the whistle blows or not, we got to go finish, you know, so we can take that to the game. It all starts with practice. And um, obviously today we was very unsuccessful with uh, bringing down the ball carry a lot. You know, I still feel like guys still flew around. Um, but it starts preparation and practice, man. Yeah, Jared, um, what did what, what, you see from the freshman quarterbacks? And, and Chad was in there saying that even though Cole had a rough day, he was still being real supportive of those guys. What do you think about that? And then you guys are all seniors. Chad said, you, you know, you, you guys don't want to hear about rebuilding. It's a tough start, but you got a lot of games left. How, how do you guys see see it moving forward? If you could answer that first about the QBs and if you all could take just, you know, how you see things moving forward. Well, first of all, you know, you, you love seeing those guys, those young guys get in there and have a little spark. Um, Connor Nolan is... Uh, happy guy, he's telling jokes before he's going in and everything, and uh, you, you know you want to see that out of, out of a young guy like that. Um, and he came in and did pretty well um, from from what I saw. He had a lot of pressure. Um, they, they were blitzing the house pretty much every play that he was in. Um, so that's hard, but uh, to see him get back up after getting hit and sacked and and just moving on to the next play, that's what you want to see out of a out of a young quarterback. Um, and then, what was your second question? Yeah, I was about John Steve Jones doing then Just for all you guys, you're, you're seniors, you don't want to hear about rebuilding, you want to win now. How do you see it moving forward with this tough SEC stretch you got coming up now? Yeah, well, John Stevens, the same same situation. He came in, and, um, you know, it's going to be tough for those guys when, uh, you know, the defense is throwing so many things at them. Um, but I feel like John Stevens and Connor did a great job of coming in um, and just getting and just having fun. That's what it's about. Um, and as far as this being a rebuilding year, um, I think Coach Morris has said it. Every player has said it. You know, we want to win. We want to win now. Um, the time is now. The place is here. Uh, so, I mean, a rebuild. You know, we could we could care less about rebuilding. You know, we, we this is our last year, and, and we want to go out with a bang. We want to uh, we want people to remember us. Uh, we we want to be a part of the change. We don't want to be the the the, the senior the senior class that they kicked out and, and and then things started turning around after you know we don't we want to we want to be a part of the change. Did you guys talk to that too? Well, <clears throat> um, I know a lot of people say it's a broken record or whatever the way we respond, saying it's a one way one play warrior mentality. And, and Coach Morris says uh, we got to look ourselves in the mirror and whatever, but. If we start veering off track now, we're never going to have a good football team or even be near it. You know, we got to stay to our standards. We got to stay to what what we believe in and how we think to run a football program. And I, people say it's a rebuilding year or whatever. You know, we have a tough schedule ahead. And, and if we think if we're thinking it's rebuild and we already have a losing mindset, well, then it's just not going to be very pretty, you know, Uh we're going to face an extremely good Auburn team who just got into a really close loss with LSU, you know, and they're probably willing, they're ready to come back out and, and show the world that they that they can play again. And, you know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to approach every single week like that. We can't sit and dwell in the past or what has happened now. All we can focus on is what's ahead. And I know that that's I've said that before, and, and Coach Moore will probably say the same thing, and all these guys will say the same thing. But if you if you don't if you don't believe in what our standards are, then you know we're never going to get back on track. Not even this year or any year ahead or any football program. If you don't, veer, if you don't stay on track and stay in what you believe in and what your principles are, then you're just going to crumble. I feel like uh, leadership got to step up more than ever now. You know, uh, it's going to come point in time in the locker room where the guys going to point fingers, and uh, we can't allow that. You know, we can't we can't entertain that. You know, and we have to make sure that next week our preparation in the film room, um, outside in the classroom, everything has to be consistent. If you don't got consistency outside of football, you're not going to have consistency on the football field. And uh, we got to have that type of mentality. You know, ain't, ain't no feeling sorry for yourself. We all men here. You know, and regardless of overcoming adversity, football is the it's a, it's comparison to life. You know what I'm saying? So you have to continue to push forward regardless. We got Auburn coming up. Yeah, we just lost North Texas, but it is what it is, man. It's not a rebuilding year. We're coming in stronger than ever, man, and, and we're going to make sure that next week we can bounce back from this, you know, and, and, and make sure that we got everything that we need in order to, to play with Auburn 
And I feel like we can, but it starts preparation, not only on, in the film room, man, but in every aspect of our life, man. And we got to have a consistency. Santos, just wanted to get your take on Mason Fine. You saw him on film all week and just the way he checked down and just be so elusive. Uh, did some things with his legs today as well as his arm. Just your thoughts on that. Mason Fine is a, is, a, is a great player. He's a great quarterback. Uh, you know, I really respect this game. You know, he, he did a, I feel like they did a great job preparing for us. Um, he, he, I feel like that he knew where he wanted to go with the ball before the play started. Um, you know, I couldn't give him enough credit. You know, at the same time, um, I feel like that there's some things that on our end, you know, I feel like we contain them pretty good. But, you know, in the secondary, man, we, we just can't give up bombs. You know, regardless of what, you know, the, 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 I feel like D-Line was doing a good job of getting, getting them out the pocket. And, and, you know, like I said, start with me, man. We just can't give up bombs, you know. And I feel like that the big plays really what hurt us. It wasn't like they was just, you know, able, able to just move the ball like that. You know, they, 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 they got a couple big plays and, you know, put them in position. You know, so I feel like that it's starting the secondary, man. You know, Mason Fine is a great player, but we got to own up to our stuff as well. Oh, Yes, for Santos and Yelda, do you guys, I guess, follow um, the same line of thinking as Jay Red with, with having your, your quarterback booed when, when he goes out to start the second half? I feel like that is, um, as, a, as, a, as a brotherhood, um, as a football team in the state of Arkansas, I feel like that was disrespectful. Um, regardless of, of what, that is still, a, like Jay Red said, somebody's son. Somebody kid, he out there giving his heart out for this team. Regardless if he had a bad game or not. And people to boo him, you know, they don't understand what the game of football really is about. They ain't on the field playing. You know what I'm saying? And um, that, that, that's something that, that we can't have, man. That just shows that, you know, when, when things go hit the fan, you know, everybody ready to, to tap out. You know what I'm saying? That's all that showed. And, and we can't have that, man. Like, we need support from our fans more than ever. Just like we need support from our own teammates. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, guys on the sideline was, was getting them rally back up. But that's our leader for now. You know, that's our leader right now. And we have to make sure that we stay, stand behind him at all times, regardless of what type of game we ha he have. Like Coach Morris said, other, other parts of the team got to step up. You know, other positions got to step up. If one having a bad, uh, one position group having a bad game, uh, another position got to step up. That's what, that's what you do, man. You help each other. Um. Well, first I want to say thanks to all the Hawk fans that stayed throughout the whole uh, whole game. Uh, those are the guys that really follow us and, and and support us all the way through. You know, the 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 score was not what we wanted it to be. Uh, of course, uh, we didn't play up to what I believe that we can play at the level we can play at. And for a quarterback to be booed, I mean. That's not like I don't know if you're if you're a real Hawk fan. I don't know. I know you want some controversial comment out of us and whatnot, but it's I don't think that's acceptable. Uh, but at the same time, I'm happy for all the people that stayed and, and kept cheering on and you know have our back and even in the in the worst of times, which is right now, you know. But we got to look ahead and we're still undefeated in SEC and. I know people are probably gonna bring that out and say something about that, but in the end, like we we got to move ahead and. Uh, I'm happy about the guy, people that, that stay behind us and back it up, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the scoreboard says. Anything else we got? All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.